everyone, welcome back to another Sophie Sofa. Today we have Kira, Kira the DJ today on Sophie Sofa. She's an incredible person, incredible DJ, so I'm excited to get to know her a little bit more. So how are you doing today? Good, chilling, you know, getting work done, trying to stay productive while quarantine. Yeah, and as you can see, the Miami skyline is behind her. Beautiful. If anyone wants to move to Miami, that's the type of view that you'll get if you get an apartment downtown, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so first, Kira, I want you to tell me how you got into DJ. Start from the very beginning and kind of your journey with it, your ups and downs, anything that you want to tell us, and basically how you got to where you are today. Definitely. So I've always just really loved music. Like, growing up, music was, like, a big part of, like, my day-to-day. -day. Every single room in the house had, like, a different radio playing or whatever. So once I got to high school, I would play music at people's parties and people liked it so much that people I didn't even know would like invite me to parties and be like, Hey, here's whatever, 20 bucks, play music all night, blah, blah, blah. So cut to like when I was like 18, I went to super wheels with my best friend and she was like, you'd be such a cool DJ. And I was like, yeah, but like, I don't know how to do it. I don't have the equipment. Like I'm working, I'm doing other stuff. And she's like, you should just apply and see where it takes you. So I applied, they hired me the next day. And they had me working from like 10 a.m. opening to like midnight, 1 a.m. close. At, like at Super Wheels. Sundays. Yeah, at Super Wheels. And you're from Kendall. I know like we've all been skating. But for those who don't know, like people who skate take it so seriously that like it's like this whole generation of people who like that's like what they love to do. And right. they would right. come and scream at me and be like, you need to like do better with the music. You need to like do better with the mixing. So I had to really quick learn how to like step my game up and be good at DJing because this was like what people were used to doing for like 20, 30 years that they expected it to be that good. So yeah, I had to get it together quick. And um, after that, I went to George's on Sunset and started their brunch. And you know, that was like the craziest Miami thing to do. And then I've had a lot of really fun parties and events and, and different brand deals working with different people and it's been a long road it's been fun and it's really different right now like not performing like you know what I mean like I can still DJ in my room but I really do miss like the energy of everybody of course and that that definitely feeds you right I feel like the more you get from people the more you kind of put out and the more you're like more into it and you get very like passionate about what you're playing at the moment so I can imagine how different it must be if you don't have the people they're watching you know um, yeah. Have you thought about doing what some DJs have done in Miami, where you go outside and you start DJing from your balcony, or is, has, is do you not have the equipment and stuff that you do? I'm going to. I've been. We've been doing lives with Yes Jewels and Baby Mama Fit every day at 12 o'clock. So I know you're super into like fitness and everything, and I know a lot of the people who follow you are. I saw you did like the two 2,000 calorie thing. Yes. That was right. incredible and crazy. Did you do the 2,000 calories? I remember last thing I remembered, you were like almost there. Yeah, I did it. I did it by eight calories. <laughs> So that's got it. Yeah. I want to, I want to do that. I'm going to join the workouts, but yeah, every day I've been going live at 12. We're going to see about um, doing it out on the balcony some days when it's like nice outside. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing stuff with, with different brands and stuff because I just want to make sure when I'm working, like I'm not just like aimlessly going live or whatever. Like I do a lot of stuff with vibe 92, seven old school hip hop radio station. And um, I'm just trying to like stay organized. Like I would, with different clubs and like what I would play at different clubs with different brands or people or whatever. And that's really smart. And that's the best thing we can do right now, especially given the situation. And I think that as sucky as the situation we're in right now is, it gives us a chance to see how creative we are. And if we're really passionate about what we're doing. So like, there are some people who probably like have full-time jobs or just they have, they, they have something that they're passionate about or they say they are. And then things with the quarantine happen, they're just kind of like sitting at home or doing nothing. And it goes to show you how important it is to no matter what scenario you're in in this, like in life, if you really want to do something, you're going to find a way to fit, to fit it in, whether yeah. it be like you go through the impossible. So like seeing how, even though you're not doing stuff live at actual clubs and events and things like that, you're still finding your way to still stay in there and stay fresh. So when all this is ending, that's, that's my thing with, with Sophie Sofa. Like I want to be able to once quarantine goes back to normal people are like well what have you been doing this time and I'm like I've been doing this and you stay fresh on your skills you know okay. yeah like it's always changing and things are always n nothing will ever be the same like day to day so 
we just have to evolve with this and this is why stuff like this is so cool you know it's just creating cool content that'll be like a snapshot of the time that we're in you know? yeah exactly and we look back on it and be like those times are crazy for sure okay now let's talk about some djs that you kind of look up to do you have anything specific that you really admire and you like their workouts i mean the work style and the work ethics and all that stuff definitely um you know i was one of the founders of an all-female DJ collective, Miami Soundwave. So really all the girls on our team. And I really do have a lot of love and admiration for a lot of the female DJs out in Miami. And there's a few girls out in New York, but to name names, Bonnie Beats, Pee Weezy, um, Sachi Sounds, D Jane, there's so many girls in this industry who have put in so much time and so much hard work that like, I really look up to them and I'm, you know, super impressed and inspired by everything that they do and that's what Soundwave is all about just like creating a community of like like-minded female DJs and supporting each other because it is it's a rough industry and at that it's like a super male dominated industry so I think you know you just got to look to people who were at a position that you were once at and just grow from there right of course and explain once again I don't know if you already did what is Soundwave it's like a platform it's an all-female DJ collective so are a ton of girl DJs and sometimes we throw parties together um, and we just promote each other and like we're a squad, we're a team. Like those are my girls. I love them to death. And we're looking to build like, like a Chicago edition, an LA edition, like different girl DJs from different cities and countries and everything. And if someone wanted to support, what would be the best way to like, you know, be a part of your guys' team from like me listening to you guys? I guess following us on Instagram, checking out our parties. We throw parties together. Everybody has their own individual parties. Everybody has their own individual brands and stuff like that. But, um, you know, when we come together as a whole, it's just, it's really cool and it's really different because it's rare to go to a party and it's like all girls on the team. You know what I mean? Right. And now what would you say is your favorite part about being DJ? And what would you say it's not your favorite part? Um, my favorite part... I just love the energy and I love, I love creating like the space and the time for people to just like really let go and enjoy. And like, I've been very blessed that a lot of the parties that I do are really fun and really high energy and like, like iconic, super dope parties. So, you know, it, it's fun to have the ability to create something that like means something to somebody. Like if you go out and you had a great night, like you're going to remember that night and maybe for that time, all your worries and all your stress is gone because you're out, you're with your homies, you're singing and dancing. And to me, that's priceless that like people can just let go of whatever nonsense that they have to deal with for that time. Um, and just enjoy. And then my least favorite part, um, sometimes it sucks. Like when you have a lot of like gigs back to back to back, you like end up sleeping through most of the day. And I don't like sleeping through the daytime. Like it's, so lame to wake up at like two in the afternoon but sometimes when you're out till like 8 a.m 9 a.m you have to sleep sometimes so yeah definitely like my sleeping schedule and like health stuff like you know not being too healthy sometimes right well I think that the the more you get involved and the more you start like just it's your lifestyle from now on I think you get to balance it a little bit better and you'll see what works and what doesn't and it's not gonna like I feel like right now especially at our age we're like hustle, hustle, hustle to like make it. And then once we have a kind of a name for ourselves or we just have more of a stable like ground, then we can like chill out a little bit and not have to worry about going, going, going because then we can't do that forever or we'll like beat ourselves up for it, you know? Well, that's true, that's true. Like Jewel started this workout with Baby Mama Fit and like she's like, wow, I wish I started working out like 20 years ago. And it's like, all right, I might take that into consideration because like, you know, it's, it's all about just like learning what you like and scheduling what you like and staying, staying dedicated to stuff. Awesome. And so looking down the line, what would you say is your big, your, well, let's do a short term goal. So something you can see definitely happening and then something long term that you is like, you don't see it yet, but you really want it to come to fruition. Um, short term goals. I mean, just getting out of this quarantine and like being back into the swing of throwing parties and doing tours. I was on like tour with K Charles for all the rolling loud stuff. So maybe going, going to Portugal, like we had planned and doing like a mini Europe tour, um, which was supposed to be this summer, but 
hopefully it'll be rescheduled. And um, long-term goals, you know, I would really love to be a part of just an amazing team that inspires people and puts artists that deserve recognition onto like that platform to be who they want to be and make music and be successful off of it. Not just do it, but be successful and see the results. Awesome. I love those goals. I think people can apply those type of goals to anything. Like, yeah. Everyone, you have to have short term, long term, and no matter what you do, you just mold it to fit your lifestyle and fit what you want to do. So thank you so much for coming on Sophie Sofa. <laughs> thank you for having me. This was so awesome. I'm on a sofa too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this was really sofa. Cool. And shout out to the awesome girls that you had on here before too. It's been super cool to check out, see a ton of different different types of people and different types of like lifestyles and stuff. Right, exactly. And so if anyone watching, if there's anyone you think that could be interviewed or if you want to be interviewed, like I'm open to anyone because I think every single person has something different they're passionate about. And it, I, I find it so cool to see everyone's, what everyone wants to do with their life. I, it's inspiring to me, no matter what you want to do, because it's just, everyone's on different paths and it's like fun to understand everyone, you know? Definitely. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is super dope. And we'll of talk course, soon. Of course, everyone make sure to follow Kira. Her at name is going to be right under her and support her. Hopefully she can throw a party after this quarantine and we can all be there to support. Oh, I, I can't wait for that day. Really. Because I'm like, excited to turn up with my girls exactly all right guys thank you so much for watching another episode of sophie sofa we'll see you next time bye